Welcome back to another Ratface 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have... We got gear packs, two ops, and one delta. And we're gonna un- or de-kit bash these figures. So let's get this started! Alright, so first off, we're going to look at the Delta Gear Pack. Uh, this is Series 3, the female wave. And it's really awesome artwork. Like, um, I always like this type of artwork. Um, there's got the watercolor uh, artwork here, which is really awesome. We got a black and white rendition of the same artwork. Got the exploding type of background here. And on the back here, we have all the included accessories. One action point. And uh, let's go ahead and open them up. So like I said, we're going to unkit bash these figures here. Let me know if it's de-kit bash or unkit bash. I'm not really too sure. But check out my video, um, how I kit bash these together. So we're going to deconstruct all of these. And then we're gonna put them vanilla. All right, so let's open up these little plastic sealed bags. All right, so I turned on the light here. So we've seen these accessories before, but uh, the bandana is done in a lighter color. And uh, we got the OD green, and they got the kind of uh, darker type of uh, kind of gray here on the holster. And we have a belt here done in OD green, and you got kind of uh, a muted black. Same color as the holster, so it's nice color coordination. All right, next off, we have a uh, first time for me in the line. We got the uh, kind of the, the slide of the weapon here uh, kind of uh, discharged, as they say, I guess, right? But that's really cool. Check that out, done in green and black. And we have another gun that's not cocked back, and it's done in green and black. We have a smoke effect like we saw before. And we got some blast effects, really cool. We got two big ones and a little one. One that goes around the barrel here, and this one fits in the uh, inside the barrel here. So the next one. So we got the same type of knife, which is really cool, all done in black. We got some comms here, which is really awesome. And we got uh, some night vision. We got an OD Gree helmet with some black highlights on the side, and it seems like a little shinier than uh, the ones I've seen previously. And next we have the tactical vest. We've seen this before in my previous video. It was in a sandy color, but this one's done in green and black. Check that out. Pretty freaking awesome. And of course this is the Delta, right? Like I said. Next we have her rifle. We have three magazines just like that. And we've seen this uh, machine gun before, some sort of AR uh, done, done in green and black. And we got this silver there where the uh, ammunitions go in. Very cool. So that's it for the Delta accessories. So we have the Spec Ops gear pack. Same type of uh, style of artwork. Here we have on the back of all the uh, picture of all the included accessories. Seems almost exactly the same, but looks like it, maybe it comes with an, a, another gun, but done in black. We'll take a look at the vest. I think that's the one that looks the th most different and different type of paint job. So let's look at the uh, tactical vest first. Very cool paint job. I really like the gray and black. You can see the, the little uh, uh, clip here. It even has, it's in red here. That's really cool. Check that out. This is awesome. Can't wait to gear these girls up. So I was right. There were the, the exact same accessories, but done in black and gray. So let's dump it all out. A little bit of a different detail on the tactical knife here with the silver blade. The uh, bandana is done in an OD green. And we have the helmet here. 
that's just been plain black and a little shiny. We got we got the comms. We got the we got the floating belt. The sheath is done in gray. Belts in black, of course. And we have the same amount of blast effects. And here is the weapons. And the difference between these packs is the AK-47, I'm guessing, or some sort of AK. I'm not, I'm not a gun guy, unfortunately. It has a removable magazine and a and blast effects port. Um, let me know what type of weapon this is. I think it's some sort of AK. And the magazine just fits just like that. Yeah, it looks like an AK to me. Really cool. Check that out. And we have two handguns here. One, uh, the slide is back, and one, just a regular old black handgun with a port for blast effects. And I almost forgot about the smoke effect. And it comes with three extra magazines. So that's it for all the accessories we have here. So, so I'm going to deconstruct all these figures all into their parts. I'm going to use a hair dryer and deconstruct each one of these and reassemble them. I might speed up the video so you can see me doing it. At least one. So now it's time to undo all the kit bashing I did previously in the Series 3 kit bash video. Check that out. So I have my uh, hair dryer here. I'm going to go ahead and heat up just one. I'm going to show you how to tear down just one and the rest I'll do off camera. And this one will be sped up also. So the one I'm going to tear down is going to be my custom kit bash or path eclipse. So we're just going to heat her up and let's get to it. So I'm just going to slightly warm this one up just to take off the vest and the head comes off very easily. And next we're just going to pop the torso. Right, so let's give it a twist and it should just come right apart just like that. So just be aware if you heat up this belt, it gets very pliable. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and deconstruct the rest of the figures off camera. All right guys, so I deconstructed everything, undid everything I've done in the past video. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put these back to vanilla as I was saying previously, and we're gonna put these gear packs on that we unboxed. So the one that I'm really excited for is the Spec Ops Trooper. So let's go ahead and gear her up, put her back together. And this is one of my favorite because she's all in black and gray. It looks freaking amazing. I'm glad I got two. So the first thing you want to do is put on the belt. 100% belt first before you put the uh, torso back together. Just like that. It should just fit right on. So now I have the belt on. Next thing you need to do is to heat up the torso. So once the torso is heated up, it will be super easy to put the peg in the hole, just like that. Here you go. So let's go ahead and put on her gear pack. I want to heat this up just a tad. Try not to blow anything all over the place, which I just did. <laughs> And the pegs should just fit right in, no problem. Now that it's heated up just a tad, not too much, like I was saying, if you heat it up too much, the accessory uh, will be very pliable. So that looks cool so far. And there is the bandana. So I've decided to make her vanilla just for this video. So we're just going to grab a random female head sculpt. I think I mixed them all up. So luckily I didn't mix them up. I have one right here. Just grabbed it randomly. So it looks like I'm going to have to heat this up. Then it should just pop on. There it goes. 
So far, so good. She looks really good. Next, we have the holsters. So I had to heat up the holster just a tad, just to make it a little bit more pliable to get around her leg here. Next, we can go ahead and put her knife in the sheath. Kind of like to keep that towards the end because you don't want to break this. And we got the sidearm. Just go ahead and holster that. That looks awesome. Wicked. We can just throw in the night vision. And we're gonna just throw in the helmet. So we can go ahead and just add the magazines. They're kind of big. <laughs> They do fit. They kind of block everything, unfortunately. Oh, that's the way it is. And we could just armor up with the AK. Looks really cool. And uh, I gave up on the uh, on adding the. <laughs> comms to her uh, helmet here so the blast effect or the smoke effect fits in just perfectly so we can just go ahead and put her on the figure stand so there you have it the female spec ops trooper with the spec ops gear pack she looks freaking amazing take a look at that that looks awesome been waiting a long time to set her up like this because uh, we didn't get the gear packs on the first run so that's why I did all the kit bashing right just to make it interesting and I had a, a bunch of Pandora's so there's all Pandora's vests even an extra bloody one here so I'm gonna go ahead and gear up the rest of the troopers with the correct gear packs and uh, yeah just give me one moment so here you have it guys, I finally got all of them together, back to the regular Spec Ops Trooper female and the Delta Trooper. I had a little bit of problems trying to put on the comms on the Delta Trooper, unfortunately I wasn't able to put it on. But the other ones worked pretty well, like specifically this one worked perfectly and I really love just army building these girls. They were freaking awesome, I wish I could get more, but I'm pretty well off just having these very satisfying and um, I love the colors of both Delta and the Spec Ops Trooper. All right guys let's do a comparison here is classified grunt next to the female Delta Trooper and here is the male Delta Trooper they fit very well together of course here is the female Spec Ops Trooper with the male Spec Ops Trooper again they go perfectly together and here is an anomaly here is Roboto from the revelations line and as you can see the size difference is <laughs> crazy you know this is a seven inch figure and that's it for the comparisons so that's it guys if you enjoy my content please like comment and subscribe thank you for all the new subscribers you guys are freaking awesome Thank you very, very much. So thanks for watching, and it's time for action.